Well, you can tell by the way I use my walk I'm a working man, no time to talk You can look the other way, been down so long But I, I'm okay and it's alright, it's okay You can look the other way, we can try to understand La 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 you're staying alive, staying alive. I'm staying alive. Okay, hey, okay, hey. I'm walking down a scary road today. You, did they wanted you to play with Ace and Peter? And they're like, oh yeah, we didn't want to do that because the real kiss are these two guys, nobody knows their names anymore, dressed up as Ace and Peter. But Rock and Roll Hall of Fame didn't want, you know, half a kiss cover band playing for their little award show. And so they wouldn't play. And Paul said, yeah, if Ace and Peter went up there, instead of calling us kiss, they'd have to call us, you know, piss. Oh, <laughs> really? Yeah. So Ace Fraley comes back with, Hey, you better say you're sorry, or I'm going to tell some real dirt on you and Gene. I'm not sure why Gene got sucked into this, but... <laughs> yeah. You got one week. Welcome to Boozhoo, Nana Boozhoo. The podcast about Ojibwe language and culture too. I'm happy to be here with you today. Speak Ojibwe. Back to the show. Bouju. Welcome back. <laughs> Bouju. Not a Bouju. The podcast. Nothing. <laughs> Today is important in celebrity news. Home sweet home. I don't know who this is. Gisela Bun- Bunchen. Gisela Bunchen, sweetie. Oh, yeah, that's that one lady. <laughs> Gisela Bunchen visits new Miami mansion, still under construction following Tom Brady split. Oh, is Tom Brady a football player? Yeah, I think so. I think they got a divorce. Oh, okay. The Brazilian supermodel quietly made the real estate purchase before the former couple announced their divorce in 2022. Oh, they divorced in 2022. Nobody's in love anymore. Yes. What happened to Elaine? I don't think that's Elaine. That's not Elaine from Seinfeld? No, that's somebody else. Oh. Bad blood. Bethany Frank. Oh, it's Bethany Frankel. <laughs> Bethany Frankel pitched a show to Bravo just months before calling it Grotesque and Depraved. For treatment of reality stars. It was grotesque and depraved. You you got to treat your reality stars better than that. They might grow up to be president. Catherine McPhee keeps a low profile at airport following Nanny's sudden death. All right. 
Billie Eilish gives update on relationship with Jesse Rutherford. But it's got nothing to do with you. I've got no one still you won't do And after today I'd say we are hard Quite through but I know you won't break down And you won't miss a step You won't be around and you'll never forget it One day when I'm old and gray, I might look back and say That these were the golden days One day when I'm old and I'm gray I could look back and say This was the price I paid Now so it goes, or so they say Times like a mountain scape And I don't know But I can't complain God knows I've got my own escape And sometimes I just might Even in the middle of the night No, sometimes And someday Sometimes Well, I Wake and bake But it's got nothing to do with you I've got no one still you won't do And after today I'd say we are hard quite through and I know you won't break down you won't miss a step you won't be around but you'll never forget it and one day when I'm old and gray I might look back and say that these were the golden days and one day when I'm old and I'm gray I might look back and say this was the price I paid Even in the middle of the day Stephen grins a little, so they say Sometimes will I wake and bake I'm begging you to stay Cause <laughs> I'm gonna miss your love <laughs> Please don't go Oh really? Why? Because I'm gonna miss your love <laughs> The minute you, you walk, walk out, out that, that door. door But I gotta go to work, honey <laughs> No, I'm gonna miss your love The minute you walk out that door <laughs> hey everybody okay, hey. won't you consider becoming a patron patron not, no that's not right um, patron yeah i can't even say it <laughs> please become a patron saint and support buju nana buju the podcast about ojibwe language and culture Click the links in the description to our Patreon page. And if you become a $25 a month Buju Crew member, it's an exclusive club. <laughs> it's going to cost you some junia, some no. money. <laughs> no. uh, you'll get a, a cup, a coffee cup. Oh, you can oh. put your black medicine water in there. <laughs> Muckaday bush kiki wabu. Muckaday bush kiki already. Anyway, so today 
This all comes back to Niji, my friend. I want to talk about my, my friend Mark Furland. Oh, Mark's the best! Yeah. Mark says, you are my fave. You're my fave, Mark. <laughs> I'm eight, but I love your videos. You're only eight years old? Oh, I'm sorry I said the P word. The P word? Yeah, I said piss. That's not a swear word. Yeah, it's not that nice. Hey, Mark, I'm so glad you're here. Um, do you like The Rock or Tech 9 The Rock as in Dwayne Johnson? You know, I haven't seen any of his movies. He, he sure is muscular. I'll give him that much. But I don't think I've ever seen The, the Rock. And Tech 9 I don't think, I'm pretty sure I, I kind of hate Tech 9 <laughs> really yeah i'm not even sure who that is but i'm pretty if it's who i think it is i no, i hate that stuff <laughs> i'm from the 80s i grew up back in the days with the grandfathers welcome to our show mark there's a lot of old farts who watch this show <laughs> and i want to apologize a lot of gen xers generation x they called us you know where your elders now but there was a time when i was eight years old too yeah me too yeah natasha too we used to be young just like you and i know i don't look it <laughs> but i remember what it was like to be eight you know you're not you're not dumb let me tell you that yep you're still a kid but by eight years old you, you've seen some stuff already. You know something about love. You probably had a, a little puppy love crush on some girl in kindergarten. Maybe you were in love with your teacher and didn't dare tell anybody. <laughs> you know. You might know something about friends. Did you know that in Ojibwe, we call my friend would be Niji. Now, if you have a female friend, sometimes you can have a friend who's a girl who's not even your girlfriend. Now, Natasha's my girlfriend. You know, that's different. She's, I'll, I'll give her that, that word in a minute. But it's okay. You can have girlfriends who are not your girlfriend, okay? You know, my little sister was a really good friend when I was growing up. Because she was a good athlete. We could, we could play basketball and football and baseball. And, uh, you know... She was my sister, my real sister. What is sister? Um, let's see. <laughs> Nishime is younger sibling. Nishime, yeah. Um, Nindanis is my daughter. I can't remember. I don't know. Uh, I'm in third and I have a crush. Uh oh. Third grade crush. Is that real love? For sure it's real love. That's your first love. First love. Well, okay. Any advice for an, a third grader in love? Um, just know that it's, um, it's a wonderful thing. That's terrible advice. Here's my advice, buddy. <laughs> what? Whatever you do, don't tell her. No! Yeah, that's an emotional suicide. It's like, it's telling a girl you love her is like uh, going to a duel. Remember those guys like in the Old West that duel at dawn? That you have to go out and meet a guy and you do 10 paces and turn around and shoot. Telling a girl you love her is kind of like that. If you miss, you're dead. <laughs> if you say I love you, she might say thank you. You're a good friend. Good knee G. Um, but it's okay to love her. Know that you love her. You be her best friend. You, uh, okay, let's, uh, here's some advice. <laughs> what? She's a practice girlfriend. She's the first one and you're probably going to have lots of girlfriends. So have fun. Don't take it seriously. But practice being a boyfriend. Practice being really nice. Practice being somebody who a girl might fall in love with. 
She tells you a secret. You keep that secret. You know, you be nice to her. Don't be critical of her. Be yourself. Yeah, be yourself. Yeah. Girls hate guys who are pretending to be somebody they're not. Nijikwe. <laughs> when you get a little older, you're going to have a Nini Mushen, a sweetheart. Somebody you hold hands with in public. Yeah. Huh? You know, you're not even embarrassed. Hold her hand, you know, get her a card, some chocolates at Valentine's Day. Say, hey, won't you be mine? <laughs> and then eventually, because what, what this is, buddy, Mark, is practice for when you, uh, when you settle down with a, with an old lady. <laughs> with a, ni windige magan. When to get my spouse. You know, a lot of us come from a long line of men who wifed up somebody. You know, so it's okay. Don't be, don't be too embarrassed. You come from a long line of guys who fell in love with a girl. You wouldn't be here if it wasn't for sweethearts and all that. Um. <laughs> Do you want to do it or should I do it? No, oh, you can do it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, everybody. Bushu. Okay. Hey. I just want to say miigwech for all your support. Mm -hmm. Miigwech to our Patreon supporters. Yeah, uh -huh. Thank you so much for signing up on Patreon. And miigwech to the contributors in our GoFundMe campaign. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank what? you. <laughs> miigwech, miigwech, miigwech. <laughs> um, okay. So that's one to teleport. Make it so, number one. <laughs> okay, hang on. We're off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. Because, 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 I must be in Kansas. Remember when Dorothy was like, oh, I, I'm, I don't think I'm in Kansas anymore. I think I just got teleported to Kansas. There's the, the yellow brick road. The yellow dirt road. <laughs> well, it's a pretty day, though. Anyway. Yeah, so... Nainukasi, it's that time of year when a when a hummingbird comes back. I remember when I was a little guy. Nima Shomas, my grandpa. Uh, when I was a little guy, like six years old, five, six years old, we lived down in a basement apartment of my grandparents' house. And my grandpa was one of these old time fishermen. Indians, you know, he was a boarding school Indian, so <laughs> he learned, if, you, if you're from my generation, you have a grandparent who grew up in a boarding school, the Indian boarding schools, you probably know those guys, the, the stereotype of an Indian boarding school is that those guys, it's kind of like the parents who, or the dads who went to military school, those, they had such a regimented life. They had to get up really early in the mornings, make their beds, you know, make breakfast, uh, brush your teeth, shave, da, 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 put up the flag. <laughs> and my grandpa was the same way. He was an early riser. Get up before the sun. Well, I lived downstairs on a, and me and my brother, we had bunk beds. And I had the up, the, the top bunk, which was right underneath the kitchen. And so my grandpa would get up at like four in the morning. I could hear his foot, footprints up there, or his footsteps. I'd be like, I'm going to go up there and have some coffee with grandpa. And I'd go upstairs. And this is back in the days before, before people were all concerned about idiot proofing the world. Oh no, it might be harmful to the children. My grandpa saw his five-year-old grandson coming up the stairs. And he was like, oh, here he comes. I better get him a cup of coffee. 
<laughs> so he'd make me a cup of coffee, put a whole bunch of milk and sugar in there, and we'd sit by the window looking out at the lake. And my grandpa had a... So I started drinking coffee when I was like five, six, with my old knee mis knee 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 Michelmas, my grandpa, Michelmas, his grandpa. But every spring, my grandpa would... would I was born in 1913 In the storm of 1913 But then at boarding school I was nobody's fool Down at Flandreau I grew madder every day That's why I had to run away Cause this is no way No way to live And I wanna go If we can make it to them tracks, we won't be coming back. We're gonna hop a train. I thought we got away. But then the cops came and took us back to a leather strap. But I wanna go home I wanna go home I wanna go home I wanna go
Uh. Okay, hey, Buju. Buju. Welcome to Buju Nana Buju. I am Nana Buju, and I am Natasha. <laughs> And we'd like to invite you to join the Buju Crew Membership Channel. For four ninety nine monthly, you get exclusive perks, exclusive no members only live stream, <laughs> Auntie Tasha's moment of wisdom, huh, sweetie? That's right. <laughs> and after today, uh, candid behind the scenes discussions with creator Mike Lyons. And uh, new music videos, dead celebrity interviews from heaven, what have you. <laughs> and of course, cat videos of Bagheera. <laughs> Click the link below. Join the Buju Crew membership channel, $4.99 a month. We'll see you there. And I will see you again. You go well, I'm in. Me and Oa. 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 So it goes, or so they say. Times like a mountain escape. Well, I don't know, but, but I can't, can't complain. complain. Baby, God knows <laughs> I've got my own. Oh,